Yes! Oh, a whole bag of Pokeballs! I'd forgotten I'd hidden them in my fort. It's a 627 Fantastic Flyer! Oh, not cool. Belongs to Stock Up Steve. <laughs> Jolly good show, Steve. Henry, Aunt Ruby and Cousin Steve have popped in for a visit. Isn't that nice? No. Don't be horrid, Henry. Now play nicely. Oh, yeah, Henry. Play nicely. Oh, all right, then. Let's play with your plane. Give me my plane back or I'll tell my mummy. All right, all right. Keep your hair on. Give me your bag of bogey balls and I'll let you play with my plane. All right. OK, then. Give me one bogey ball and I'll let you look at it. Deal. Give me another bogey ball and I'll let you touch it. Steve! Time to go, darling. Got to go, Henry. Thanks for the bogey balls. I need a remote control plane. You don't need one, Henry. You want one. All right, then. I want a remote control plane. And if you really want something, you should save up for it. All right, then. Could I have my pocket money now? Mum, didn't you and Dad stop Henry's pocket money for the next two years because he was being so horrid? <laughs> yes, we did, Peter. Thank you for reminding me, sweetie pop. Yeah, thanks for reminding her. Worm. Oh, I could get a job. You could pay me to do all the chores. Like putting my plate in the sink. <gasps> Thank you, Henry. Mum, didn't you and Dad say Henry has to do all the chores as punishment for his school report? Yes, we did, Peter. And you can start by finishing the dishes. Good idea, Mum. Silence, worm. <laughs> Don't be horrid, Henry. Mum said I wanted a remote control plane. A plane? I had one when I was a boy. Let's see if I can remember how to make one. Really? Oh, yes. I used to make them all the time when I was a kid. Ta-da! That worked. Oh, but thanks, Dad. For nothing. Why do I have to come shopping with you? Should have brought Peter. He loves going shopping with you. And he also loves happy hippos. And it's his turn to watch them this afternoon. So stop moaning, Henry, and hurry up. Well, it's just not fair. Oh, look. I'm a lady who's got a sail on. Stay here, Henry. I'll just pop in for a quick look. Won't be long. Look! How cool is that? Oh, and how expensive. Oh, I'll never be able to afford one of those. Not in a million years. Huh. Trust mischievous Mike to get his hands on one. Eureka! That's it! Yeah? Oh, I need your plane. It's an emergency. What are you talking about? I need it to, uh, uh, to rescue a cat that's been stuck in a tree. Oh, all right then. Can I just borrow it? Just for a day? Half a day? An hour then? I'll swap it for anything you want. Hmm. You still got your gross class zero comic collection? All of them, 
including the Super Bumper Smilly Snotfield edition when Sam Snotfield defeated the evil Emperor three times. Oh, yeah, definitely got that one. It's a deal, then. One hour only, but you'd better look after it. Oh, I will. Nothing's going to happen to it. Don't you worry. That's a lot of comics. Awesome. Oh, this is so cool. Remember, Henry, you better look after it. I will. in this park. Uh-oh. We better take our plane somewhere else. <laughs> Come on, Steve. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Race you, Henry. Yeah? My way. You scared. Yeah? You're on. Start here, yeah? Through the woods, the fountain, across the buttercup meadow, finish with a fly through this tree trunk. Yeah? Uh, are you sure that's a good idea? Oh, yeah. I knew you'd check it out. No, I'm just worried about your plane. Mine will be fine. Unbox, get set, go! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, watch where you're flying, that thing. <laughs> Whoa! Mayday! Mayday! Hey! Get back! Oh boy, drop it! to get Mummy Dearest to buy me a new one. What are you going to do, Henry? What am I going to do? Oh, this is bad. The axle is fractured and the wings are out of alignment and the propeller's rotation is off by 7.5 degrees. But can you mend it? I'll do my best. Screwdriver. Spanner. So, or will it fly again? There's only one way to find out. Oh, way to go! <laughs> well, that didn't work, did it? I guess not. Only one thing for it, Henry. I guess so. That's a great collection of comics, Henry. Um, I've got your plane, Mike. Cool. Well, not so cool. What happened to my plane? Henry crashed it. Deliberately, yeah. I did not! Oi, you! I told you no plane flying in my park. Hey, that's my plane! Not anymore, it isn't. It's park property now. <laughs> my plane? <laughs> Look at the state of my plane. Never mind, son. <laughs> but I love that plane. Here, son. You can have this one. Oh, jeez, Dad. Thank you. There you go, Henry. Thanks for lending them to me. It was a pleasure, Mike. And, uh, sorry again about your play. Oh, don't mention it, Henry. You can fly my new one any time. <laughs> Result! Bye, Steve! No! It's so easy.
Have you seen my tie anywhere? We're going to be late. Oh, where's my other shoe? Mom! Henry took all the sweet tweets! You're going to be late for school, Henry. That means I'm going to be late too. Tough, Worm. Don't be horrid, Henry. And where are your trousers? Go and get changed. Now! We're leaving in two minutes. But I want my breakfast. That's my breakfast. Mine! Mine! That's enough. Every morning it's the same. Total chaos. It has to stop. Oh, I agree. But how are we going to stop it? Time management. Time what? Time management. It's a simple idea, Peter. It means we do everything to a strict timetable. Ooh, goody! Just like school. Yes, Peter. You could say it's just like school. Just like school? No! Please, Dad! No! I think it sounds like a very good idea. It was the boss's idea. We're all doing it at Tingly Toothbrushes. We'll start tomorrow. Now, where were we? Anyone see my tie anywhere? We're going to be late. Hurry up, Henry! We need to leave now. But I haven't had my breakfast yet. Seven o'clock, Henry. <laughs> Four minutes to get dressed and downstairs for breakfast. Here are your individual timetables. Timetables? Yes. Everything has a set time. Eating breakfast, five minutes. Clearing the table, two minutes. Going to the toilet, half a minute, and so on. What about important stuff, like watching TV? It's all on the sheet. Watching TV five minutes after supper. Five minutes? Yes, Peter? Happy Hippos is longer than five minutes, Dad. What about all the programmes I want to watch? <laughs> You've wasted one minute of breakfast time arguing. Better get a move on. Finished! Excellent. Two minutes. So can I put the other four minutes towards watching TV? Five takeaway two is three, Henry, so it's three minutes, not four. And no, you get extra time to brush your teeth instead. Right then, clearing table, one minute thirty. But I... Hurry up, ready to leave in ten seconds. Henry, ten, nine, eight. Huh, just in time. See, I knew you could do it. Keep up the pace, boys. Four minutes thirty. Let's really push it to the limit. That was funny. Eh? Beats walking, and we saved eight minutes. Hooray! Have a good day, boys. You're nice and early. Class zero time! Hey, I was watching that! At least I was going to. Telly time's over. Check your timetable. It's bedtime now. But it's only half past seven! We've got an early start in the morning. Ooh, then we do need an early night. Worm. There, didn't I tell you? So much better than rushing around all the time. Mm. No one was late for school and there were no fights or arguments. <sighs> In a few weeks' time, this will be our normal routine. A few weeks? Of course. Today was just the start. If we cut down on talking, it could save a whole five minutes. I 
we're still reading. Reading time seven and a half minutes. It's on your timetable. Henry, it's sleepy time. I'm not sleepy. We've got an early start tomorrow. It's on our timetables. <laughs> Timetables. It's worse than being at school. At least we weren't late today. We were there before the teachers. Listen, Peter, do you like having only five minutes to watch TV? Well, I did miss Happy Hippos. And I didn't even have time to draw Miss Lovely a picture. That's what I'm saying. We don't get time for anything. It's wash, eat, clean teeth, go to bed. But what can we do? Dad says it's good for us. <laughs> we'll see about that. Henry? <laughs> Morning! <sighs> what time is it? It's five o'clock in the morning. Listen! thinking and I've decided time management is a brilliant idea. Oh, you have? Yes, but you see we're not doing it properly. We could save even more time if we did it properly. We could. It's all on your new timetables. 5.05 morning run? But it's 5.05 .05 now. Exactly. <sighs> How much longer? Just one more lap. <sighs> one more. Can't we rest? I feel great! <laughs> so do I! Come on, Dad! No time to lose! Oh! Breakfast time! Oh, good. I need a coffee. I need something stronger. Oh, I've already made breakfast. You have? What's this? It's an all-in-one breakfast. Cereal, milk, tea, egg, toast and jam. All mixed up together. <sighs> Saves time. Come on now, eat up. Get a move on. You've got ten seconds. Ten, nine, eight. <sighs> hmm, two minutes twenty. Not bad, but I think you can do better. Sorry, Henry. All ready to go then. But it's only 5.45. I'll be way too early for work. Not if you walk. Walk? But it's miles. Walking's good for you. And it's good for the environment too. Hmm. Think of all the petrol you'll save. It's quicker if you run. What? I was watching that. Me too. Haven't you read your timetable? 7.30 to 8, homework. But we haven't got any homework. What about that? Oh, yes. All those bills you're always saying you'll get round to. Oh, and don't forget that thank you letter you were going to write to Great Aunt Greta. <laughs> oh, yes. That too. In the dining room, please. Don't want you to be distracted, do we? to get everything done when you manage your time properly. <laughs> Have you seen my tie? Uh, uh, shall I lay the table? We've overslept. Henry, where are your trousers? Well, according to the timetable... Give me that timetable. No more stopwatches. No more time management. Let's just get on like we always do, shall we? <laughs> Fine by me. Have you seen my tie anywhere? We're going to be late. 